Well, believe it or not, the 16th annual Sunscreen Film Festival is gearing up in just a couple of weeks. And uh, I know people are very excited to actually have a film fest a festival be up and running and in person. Joining us this morning uh, with a few of the details this morning before we dive into some of the films uh, that you're going to be able to see uh, is Tony Armour. Always so nice to check in with Film Commissioner here. Good to see you. Good morning, Tony. I know you guys are excited. Yeah, it's great to see you as well. I know we're not doing this in person yet, but I'm looking forward to getting back in studio and seeing you guys. Yes, that is the key word yet. And uh, we are going to highlight in just a moment one of the documentaries that's going to be shown at this film festival. But before we get into that and, and, and meet some of the stars here in just a moment, talk about the film festival, because this is a big deal to actually have this in person and, and back. People are People are excited about it. Yeah, we are one of the few film festivals in the country, around the world even, that's doing a live and in-person film festival. And this is the 16th year, and, you know, with the vaccinations going the way they're going, and every adult in America who wants to get one can pretty much get one. And the fact that we do it at AMC Theater Sundial, and AMC has a great uh, safety policy with cleaning and masks and only allowing 50% capacity in the screenings. We feel really good about having this really safe event for everyone, and, and the the feedback has been amazing. We have a hundred films with filmmakers who have said that they're coming in to attend the film, film festival, including the documentary we're gonna talk about next. And we even have somebody coming in from Thailand. Well, and that's what I was gonna ask is kind of the highlights uh, that people need to kind of know and, and kind of the best place to, cause the thing about the film festival, I know they got, you know, they get spread out kind of, what's the best way to kind of keep track of everything? Yeah, well, the website, of course, sunscreenfilmfestival.com, the full schedule events is up there from the, the films to the workshops that everybody is always excited uh, about. We do great industry workshops with, with people that are going to really, you know, teach you a lot about filmmaking, whether it's screenwriting or directing or whatever else it might be. And then um, parties as well. We're actually going to have, uh, have a few parties too, awards ceremony. So everybody likes a, a good a good safe party. Yeah, well, we'll make sure and get all those details on our website. And Tony, I know you're going to be back and, and going to be uh, helping us get some great uh, guests in the next couple of weeks to really highlight some of these uh, films that you're going to be able to see. But let's go ahead and roll a clip. Uh, one of the documentaries that's being shown, it's from Fat Lolly to Six Pack Lolly, and it's a documentary on uh, this weight loss journey. Let's go ahead and take a clip before we welcome in the guest here. Daddy, you're fat. I want you to die. Was what gave me the fire in my belly the next day i decided to actually work out july 17th 2018 this is my day two this is carlos's day one let's just see let's see what happens oh i can't wait to see this i've heard it is extremely emotional and inspirational and joining us now we have james uh, the producer on this and then anthony along with his wife who is featured in the documentary so much to dive into uh, i was telling you guys before i got started i'm such a huge fan of documentaries and, and the stories that they tell but this is different anthony let's start with you because how did you know that this was going to be something worth you know, normally a story, you you look back on it and say, okay, that's fascinating, let's tell it. You didn't really know what the outcome was gonna be. Well, you know, I had no choice. You know, I um, achieved a lot of things in my life, but at the end of the day, health is wealth. And uh, my daughter looked at me and said, daddy, you're fat, I don't want you to die. And so I just said, that was it. That was the defining moment where I had no choice but to see this thing from beginning to end, and of course, the support of my wife and the whole entire family, there was no way I was gonna let them down. I let myself down nine times. So this was my 10th and final attempt. And uh, I said to myself, I'm gonna do this uh, or, 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 or else, you know, I had to. Yeah. So. so James, talk about producing a film like this, a documentary like this. And again, I just think it's super interesting uh, that you don't know where the storyline is going uh, when you do something like this. How is that producing that? Well, thank you. And first of all, I'd like to thank Tony for having us. And I want to say that this is actually the world premiere for this, because even though you can see the uh, the movie on Amazon and other places, this because of the whole pandemic, this is the first time that we've actually been able to show the film on the big screen. So we're super excited to be coming to Florida. Um, yeah, you know, Anthony's one of those guys. He's achieved many things in his life. He's a multimillionaire, a real estate investor. And the one thing he had never really achieved was uh, losing weight. 
and he had tried nine times and failed. But the act, the act of actually committing to doing the documentary he forced him to do this because he would have been publicly embarrassed to have, you know, put all these resources into doing this film and talking about it on social media unless he had followed through. And we see that over and over again with our show, Radical Body Transformations. We've done over a thousand uh, transformations. And when people make a serious commitment, uh, they'll follow through with that. And you could tell when people don't want to, uh, to film themselves or to capture their journey, they probably in the back of their mind don't know if they actually are going to do it. So it's one of those things, you know, kind of if you believe it, you'll achieve it type of thing. And we knew that if Anthony really focused on this goal, which he did, I mean, look at how Anthony looks. And Anthony's competing this weekend in Orlando, and he's getting on a, on a bodybuilding stage. So he went from, you know, morbidly obese to what you're seeing now. And it's just yeah. an incredible thing. Well, and I know the goal is really to inspire others. And before we run out of time, I mean, what do you hope people take away, um, you know, from this film and watching your story? Uh, a lot of people on a weight loss journey, a lot, millions. Uh, if I could do it, they can do it. You know, I, I literally made so many excuses not to do it, but I think what the goal of the documentary was not only to inspire, but to give people the tools and so if you watch the documentary, we talk about nutrition, we talk about our company, Radical Body Transformations, and now we make it so easy. And like James said, you know, we have thousands of transformations and, and a bunch of the people that are actually transforming themselves are gonna be at this film festival, which I'm very honored. Like we've never seen this on the big screen, so it's gonna yeah. be like epic for us, you know, just to watch the audience and to actually meet people that are on our show in person for the first time and meet the fans and uh it's a, yesterday we were working out in the gym and some people were like whoa you guys are from that documentary we want to take pictures and it was just awesome it's been an yeah. awesome experience you know no oh, and that's what film is about is it not tony we got to wrap up i know you're going to be joining us again later and, and bringing more of these great films so we're just so happy uh, that you guys are going to be back guys thanks so much yes thank you all so much we of course will put more details on our website uh, but again tony uh, thanks for sending us these guys and we look forward to, to what's to come